What's going on, beautiful people? I'm back like I never left. Look, I'm a little under the weather. Got a little sore throat because I've been sleeping under the fan a lot because I get hot when I sleep. So I'm drinking some tea, right? But it just make me think and recall on my childhood memories when my grandmama used to give us some of the nastiest medicine you could ever taste in the world. Cod liver oil. Like if you never had this, don't try it right now. Don't even go try to taste it or test it out. It's disgusting and I promise y'all, y'all gonna be mad as hell at me if you go try it because I talked about it in my videos. Cod liver oil so nasty, I remember it was on a Fear Factor challenge one time, right? They had some shredded up money with uh, cod liver oil poured, poured all over it, right? They had it on Fear Factor, it was that damn disgusting. My grandmama, it was her go-to when any me, when me or any one of my siblings or cousins got sick. She would go into this little cabinet and pull out that cod liver oil and have all of us take it. You know what's crazy? She would have all of us take it even though not all of us were sick. She Just in case you get sick, take some cod liver oil too. We be mad as hell. Like, grandmama, come on, man. I ain't even coughing. I ain't even, I ain't got no snot coming out my nose or nothing. But grandma want to give it to me and my cousin that's sick. No, just give it to him. Don't give it to me or give it to my sister. She's sick. Not me. But anyway, cod liver oil tastes like death in a bottle. It's that nasty. And it will leave an aftertaste in your mouth for hours and hours after you take it. I'm not lying. We will be burnt like we are burnt like an hour later and still taste it in our mouth and it will be disgusting. Nasty. Like my grandma used to try to give us peppermints and stuff to try to get the taste out of our mouth. Giving us peppermints and all of that to try to get it out of our mouth. And it would still linger in our mouth for like hours and hours. I, like it wouldn't the taste wouldn't be gone until the next day. Seriously, it was that disgusting, but it was always what she went to. And I'm not, I'm not gonna even lie, y'all. That cod liver oil worked, but guess what? It won't. Be, I won't be taking it in this house, not at all. Ain't gonna. I promise y'all, I'm done. My cod liver, my cod liver oil days are over with. It was over with when I was a little boy. I'll be damned if I take it right now. I'm good with this tea. I'll take me a little, um, some Night Quill or something like that, and I'm good. But I'm not taking no cod liver oil. I promise y'all, but. My grandmama, it was their go-to, and it, it worked. It, it did work, but it's just so nasty. I don't think I don't want to do that to nobody. My grandmama was cruel for that. That was that was some that was cruel punishment for a child because taking that medicine. We don't like medicine as it is, but like water didn't work. Like trying to drink, wash it out your uh, mouth with water, that didn't work at all. We try to we try to drink some juice, it still be like, come on, man, it's aftertaste still in my mouth. I don't know what's in that medicine. I don't. I mean, like, I don't know what all what's all in it to make it taste like that. But it's absolutely absolutely disgusting. And I don't. Some people try to say stuff like Father John's is disgusting. I never took Father John's uh, medicine. I think that's the medicine with the old white man on the front of the bottle. I never had that a day in my life. But cod liver oil in this little brown bottle with a little white top. I think it was a, a white cap on the top of it. Disgusting. Disgusting. And. I, I, I kid you not, man. Like, my grandma would line us all up. It'd be five of us over there. She'd line all us all us, all up to take some. And I, I would be so mad. Like, I was I was, I was, was pissed at my grandma. Seriously, because it was just that nasty. I'm like, grandma, why is you doing this to us? Come on, man. Like, this ain't, this ain't, this ain't called for. And I ain't going to do it to my kids. I ain't going to let my kids get that, man. I, well... I don't know. If all else fails, if NyQuil fail, if the tea fail, if the uh the airborne that I be drinking, I drink the little airborne uh stuff too. If the airborne don't work, I may have to go to the cod liver oil. Do they even I'm sure they still sell it in the uh pharmacies. I'm sure I ain't look for it because I ain't checking for it. It's just ain't no reason for me to check for it. It did something cruel to me. It bring back horrible memories from my childhood. I remember taking it, but if my kids get too sick or something like that, you know. When I get some, uh, when I have some, because I got my daughter right now. When I'm, uh, when my other kids come, when they get sick, I, I may have to go to that. I may have to go to that. I don't know, but for right now, Nyquil and Airborne and stuff is good for me. And this tea, y'all. Y'all, let me know if y'all had a similar experience with uh, cod liver oil. Peace.